back to my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Yessi. Um, today's video, I am doing a breast fade tutorial. But before I get started, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who liked and subscribed to my first video. Thank you so much for all the support. I know it's been over a week since I last uploaded. I've just been busy. Um, but I'm trying to work on it, so please be patient with me. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to turn on your notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Enjoy! Alright guys, I'm going to start off by cleaning up the sides using my Fabulous Flash FX trimmers. I like to do this because it kind of gives me an idea on where to start my first guideline. Um, and he does like to have side rooms, but you don't have to do this. It's just kind of a preference. I'm also going to clean up the back and I'm just going to do it in a V shape. Okay, so now I'm just going to create my first guideline, still using my Babyliss trimmers, and I'm going in a C shape or half circle. I'm also using my corners just to get a nice clean look. I put my finger just to see how far I went from the ear, that way I get it even on both sides. And I'm just going to repeat it on the other side. Now I'm going in with the wall finale shaver and balding out the bottom. Okay, so now I'm going in with my Magic Clip Coreless and I have the lever open and I'm just going about half an inch up creating my second guide. I am still using the corners. Again, I'm just going to repeat it on the other side. Now with the one guard open or one and a half, I'm going up an inch and I'm repeating the same steps. Now going in with the two guard open, I'm creating another guide and I'm making sure that I am not going straight into the hair. I'm kind of flicking my wrist to get a nice blend. And now going in with the two guard close, I'm just going to soften up that middle line. Now going in with the one and a half guard, I'm just repeating the same step. I like to use this guard because it really helps me take out any lines I see 
um, that I couldn't with the one card open. Going in with the one guard close, I'm blending out that line between the half and one and a half. Again, I'm using the corners because it really helps keep that circular shape. Now with the lever closed, I'm going to blend out that final line. And again, I'm using a flick out motion just to make sure that I blend it nicely and I don't create another line. Now I'm just kind of adjusting the lever and doing some detail work, kind of taking out any lines that I still see. So now I'm going to use a number 8 guard and cut the top and the back. He likes to keep it short and the number 8 leaves an inch long. Now going in with clipper over comb, I'm just going to blend the sides and the back together. So I like to keep a guard on my clippers when I'm doing clipper over comb, just so that I don't make any holes in the hair. And it's usually the longest guard I used on the sides. Now I'm just going to edge up the front and I'm pushing up some of the hair just because I don't want to cut it and make the front really short. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on my next video.